in school. I took pictures when I was in school. In uh, Hollywood High School, I just took pictures on my own. I, I was just interested. I had a view camera, took pictures of the neighbors and kids and school events. That was fun. In those days, you could do things. We got, you know, Kennedy's boat was rammed by the uh, Japanese destroyer, the Amagiri. I was able to assemble the uh, crew of the uh, destroyer in Tokyo <laughs> in a geisha house. So I got them together. I got the admiral who was in charge, taking pictures in foreign lands of people who are not of your culture, of uh, your religion, of your interests, of your anything. I think just requires a, a curiosity about them a feeling of uh, fellowship and uh, a kind of lack of arrogance that uh, some people have. You've spent so much time traveling. Why is Afghanistan as a country, why has it been so fascinating to so many photographers? Well, it's like a movie set, all these people in turbans and uh, I think you have to blend in, you have to respect the personality of the people that you're photographing. And respect comes in many different ways. Uh, it comes as a way of feeling a kind of kinship with people. And it requires a, an intelligence. And I think it requires you not to threaten people with your camera, with your attitude, with your presence. Going into these foreign lands, you really want to be open to the people and to the way they are, to their culture. And, and I think an optimistic uh, point of view is, is the one that resonates with me, certainly, and I think with most people. I, I think even a kind of critical uh, way of looking at people is valid. Uh, I just prefer the, uh, the more human one.